In the previous lessons, you got an assignment to add 25 products to the product research spreadsheet. And these are not just randomly chosen products. These are products that have been proven to work for other dropshippers. You used myip.ms to find Shopify sites or you search Facebook ads for them. It doesn't matter. Once you combine the tools that I gave you in the previous lessons and you added them to here, we can continue moving on to the next steps with these high potential products. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is start filling in the rest of the columns that we didn't fill in in the past lesson. So right now you only have your product and your source. Now let's move on to the next columns. The first one is asking you if you are passionate about this product. So if you have no passion whatsoever for this product, if you do not care for it, you probably won't do a good job trying to market this product and adding a good product page for it. So if you have no passion for the product, simply click on the arrow and click on no. But since we're talking about this portable pooper scooper, I'm not totally passionate about poop, but I am passionate about the product. So I'm going to mark this one. Yes. The next question is, is this product hard to find in stores? So this pooper scooper with the bag is hard to find in stores because you usually just have regular pooper scoopers or just a bag, but not the combination of them both. This is actually very, very convenient when you're walking out with your dogs. I did not see it in regular pet shops. So it is hard to find in stores. The answer here is yes. The next question is, is it hard to guess the price of this product? Let's take a look at the product again, just in case you guys forgot. So here's the product. Is it hard to guess the price? I would say yes, because a pooper scooper can cost up to $30 or $35 and it would still make sense to buy it for this price. But if we would have had this product in other stores and it was easy to find in other stores, then people probably have bought it before and they would know that this product is supposed to cost around, let's say $20. And then you're losing the whole effect of, is it hard to guess the price? But in this case, it is hard to guess the price. So I'm going to say yes. The next question is, is this product safe to sell? Now the meaning in safe to sell is, is it a safe product? For example, toys for children that are relatively small are not safe products to sell because there is a choking hazard. Beauty products have all kinds of formulas inside them and you have no idea what it's actually doing to your skin and so forth. So those are also not safe products to sell, even though a lot of dropshippers are selling them. You can kind of get the idea of what products are safe to sell compared to products that are not safe to sell. So this pooper scooper, there's nothing not safe about it. It's totally safe. So let's go for it. The answer is yes. The next question is, can this product be bought without research? Remember how I told you a couple of lessons ago that you need a product that it's hard to make any research on it. For example, if you're selling t-shirts and the buyer doesn't know his exact size or shoes or socks or whatever, and he needs to go and check it, or maybe he needs to talk to his wife about it because it's a product that needs a conversation with his wife, needs some kind of approval before buying any product that will make the buyer say, wait, okay, before I buy it, let me just go check something about this product. And then maybe I'll come back later and buy it. Most chances are we're going to lose those buyers, but this pooper scooper, there's nothing much to research about it. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. There are no sizes. There are no different dimensions. There's not much to be researched about it. It's a one problem, one solution product. So this product can be bought without much research. So the answer here is yes. Does this product solve a problem or stand out? Obviously the pooper scooper solves a problem. I can pick up my pet's poop and I got the bag connected. So it's very easy. It's very convenient. This solves a problem that a lot of people have when they're walking their dogs. They got the bags in one pocket and they're putting their hand inside the bag and they're turning it inside out with the poop inside. So that's a big problem that pet lovers have people who have dogs. This takes care of your hygiene and it makes it much more convenient. So this solves a problem and it stands out. The answer here is obviously yes. The next question is, does the product cost less than $30? In this case, it costs $14.66. So once again, the answer is yes, it costs less than $60. And the final question that you're going to get in this spreadsheet is, does this product comply with Facebook ads policies? This is a very important thing that you guys need to read and understand before you start creating your Facebook ads. We're going to get to that in a couple of lessons and it's going to be super interesting. You're going to learn everything about it. But before you start it, you have to learn about the policies and make sure that you comply with them. So in this course, you have a resources PDF, which you can find below this video on the course page. Inside this resources PDF, you have the links to everything that I'm talking about, all the links inside a PDF. So it's going to be very well organized for you. But just to give you guys a quick glance at the Facebook policies, it's also going to be in the resources link. So here is a whole bunch of stuff that you just cannot do when you're running Facebook ads. For example, you cannot run ads on tobacco products 
or knives and things that are dangerous, drugs, weapons, ammunition, explosives, adult content. Just go over this policy, read it. It's going to take a few minutes and it's definitely worth it because nobody wants to put up with banned ad accounts. It's super annoying. You can just waste a lot of money on it. So make sure that you are well familiar with Facebook's ad policies. So once you go through that, you will know if your product does comply with Facebook policies or not. In this case, it does. And now I have answers for my first product. Now what I want you guys to do is to fill in all of the 25 products, fill in all of the columns, all of the questions that they're asking you. It's easy to find the answers. Once you fill in all of the 25 products, we can move on to the next step. So I'm going to do it on my side really quick. You do it on your side really quick. And I'll see you in just a couple of minutes. Okay, after we're done filling in the columns, the next step is to take all of the products where you answered yes to each and every one of the columns and keep only those rows. Delete the rest of the rows. What we're trying to do here is to narrow down the products so that we will have anywhere around five products that we will be able to create our store around those products. So in order to delete the rows, all you have to do is right click on the row on the left side and click on delete or hide the row, doesn't matter. So I'll start it on my side, you start it on your side, and I'll see you again in just a couple of minutes. Okay, I'm done. I'm down to about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products. Now you should have anywhere around five to 10 products. It really depends on the answers that you guys gave down here. The point here is that we already narrowed down winning products that we can start building our stores around. Now, since we're not going for a general store, let's see what products we have here and think about which niche we wanna go for. So I got that portable pooper scooper. We got that toothbrush sanitizer. We got a double retractable dual leash for dogs. We have an elevated raised dog bowl, a wireless phone charger, a wall decoration canvas, a night star projector, and a cell phone disc, which I want you guys to see this by the way. It has nothing to do with, with what we're about to do, but this is a, actually a really cool product that I just found while doing this product research and it already sold over 10,000 units. And what it's supposed to do is balance the energy that your cell phone is transmitting. So that's it, I'm just gonna put this away. I already have an idea of what I'm gonna do once I'm done recording this course for you guys. So moving on, now I can see one niche that's going well for me here, and that's the pet niche. And it makes sense because I love pets. My ads took me to pets, so I found a lot of pet items. And also other products which I'm sure would go well if you built your store around them. But since we're going for a niche store, the pets looks like a good niche store to go with the product research that I made. You guys will have the solutions to what niche you need to go for with the product research that you did on your side. So let me just delete the products that are not relevant. Even though they are relevant for dropshipping, they're actually even very relevant, but not for the store that we're about to create. So we're just gonna hide these rows. Okay, so I want to create my store around these four products. We're gonna choose one main product with the highest potential. That's the product that we're gonna market. And if we wanna add more related products, we can, but this is enough to already create a store around it. This is what we're going to go over in the next lessons. So that's all I want you guys to do for this lesson. You have your 25 products, you answered all of the questions in the columns, and you narrowed it down to anywhere around five products that we can finally create a store around. Even if you have four items, it's also totally fine. It's enough to create the store, market the product that you want, and start generating sales and profit. So that's it for this lesson. That's it regarding product research and suppliers and how to find the stores and what's selling and what not. Now we're ready to move on to the next lesson. You are going to start creating your Shopify store. So now that you have your profitable and high potential winning products, save them, move on to the next lesson, how to create your Shopify store. See you there.